This clip will explore the concept of views. In SharePoint, a view determines how data is displayed in a list or library. While several default views are available, users with appropriate permissions can modify and even create new views to fit their particular needs. This is the default view in a SharePoint document library. The columns include the document type, name, modified date, and the name of the person who last modified the file. And of course, it's easily sorted. Just click the mouse over a column name to reveal a menu used to sort the information in either ascending or descending order, or apply a filter. Here I'll sort the modified column in ascending order. The small arrow icon indicates the sort order. A filter is a handy way of limiting the amount of displayed information. For example, to display only Word documents temporarily, I'll choose DOCX from the Filter menu on the Type column. To show all the documents again, I'll click Clear Filter from Type from the menu. A library or list may contain different views that are similar but have a slight difference to meet specific requirements. When available, from the Library ribbon, you can switch between views by clicking the Menu option under Current View. Keep in mind, site members can create personal views for their own use. In this example, I'll create a new view that will let me know when files are checked out. On the Library ribbon, I'll click Create View. SharePoint offers five existing views which can be used as a starting point for the new view instead of starting from scratch. I'll choose the standard view and give it the name Checked Out. As a site member, I can only create a personal view. Those with elevated permissions, such as site owners, can create public views, which make it possible for others to use the views they create. Next, I'll choose the columns which should be displayed in the view. In this example, I'll just add the Checked Out To column, which will let me know when and to whom the file is checked out. And I'll change its position to 3 so it displays as the third column. Scrolling down a bit are options to apply a default sort order. In this instance, I'll sort on the Checked Out To column and make sure it displays in descending order. And in some cases, you might want to add a filter to the view. For instance, to show only the files checked out to me, I would choose the Checked Out To column and have it equal to me. I won't in this case. And there are other options available but we'll save those for another time. For now, I'll click OK. And here's the new view open from the Browse tab, and as you can see, shows the files which are checked out. Keep in mind, you can easily switch views from here. And there are even links should you want to modify the view or create a new one.